Hello everyone. I have another video to share uh, with you regarding a uh, common issue related to the use of QuickBooks or any accounting package for that matter and um, the service called Bill.com. So one of the things that um, we need to be mindful of is that there's a lot of syncing that goes on between a service like Bill.com which basically does the payables um, for a certain business and posts those payables and the cash transfers to make those payments to the client's QuickBooks file, whether it be QuickBooks Online or QuickBooks Desktop. So um, one of the things that can happen is that not all transfers are actually posted. There could be duplicate transactions posted because you're getting things in from bank feeds plus bill.com. Any number of things can go wrong with that particular account. But what it does post is I wanted to draw your attention. Um, when you when the client approves bills to be paid, uh, it pulls the money out of that client's bank account in one lump sum and then it posts individual bill payments out of the bill.com money out clearing account. So what can happen a lot of times is that you end up with balances in this account and you're not really sure if the balances are correct. So when you're looking at preparing financial statements either on a quarterly or an annual basis for tax, one, is, one of the important things to do is to actually look at that balance and decide if there are errant transactions that are in it. So what's the easiest way to do this? With balance sheet accounts, we all know that they can actually live forever. So um, it's very difficult to look at the ledger and try to figure out what clears and what doesn't clear. Um, generally speaking, for liability accounts or things like that, the, the, the rule that I always say is the gazentas must equal the gazaltas. What goes into the liability account must eventually come out or be cleared or clearable. Um, so I'm going to take a deep dive into um, this client's balance sheet account and we look at right here on the screen, we see that their bill.com money out clearing account has a negative balance of negative 22,000. Well, this isn't something we as CPAs want to see at the end of the year. That basically means that the account has been overfunded for the bills that it has been charged, charged to pay. So what's really going on here? So I'm going to show you a simple trick where you can actually reconcile this account just like it's a real bank account and find uh, things that potentially are errant transactions or that may require further investigation. So just like any bank account, even though this is not a real bank account, um, but just like any bank account, you can go ahead and reconcile. So we're going to do reconcile <clears throat> bill.com money out clearing. And what we want to do is a little bit different than a normal reconciliation because we want to put a zero dollar balance in. We're never going to post any reconciliation discrepancies here, but we do want to make sure that everything going into that bill.com account, i.e. the cash that's funding the bill payments, is actually coming out in terms of accounts payable relief for those specific bills. So we're going to put our ending balance to be zero. We're going to select an ending date, which is relatively arbitrary because we don't really have a real statement to go by. And we're going to go through the process of reconciling just like we would a normal account. And we're going to make sure that all, everything that goes into this account goes out. So I can see, for example, here we have a transaction. We have a funding event. Money has gone into a bill.com account for this amount. And we have a payment that is posted um, to this particular vendor for the same amount. So boom, we select both of those. We have a zero dollar difference. We're good. Again, I see here, this is a funding event. It's a deposit into the bill.com account. There's a corresponding payment, i.e. a bill that's been paid. So again, we select both of those. We have a zero dollar difference. Now we're seeing some interesting things. A late payment fee for this particular bank. That is a missed posting. There's no late payment fee that should be posting directly to this account. So we need to open this transaction, look at it and see what's been missed posted. And for example, there's a, there's a bank fee here. It's a credit card account. Someone who has posted this have selected the bill.com money clearing account instead of bank charges. 
and the, the, the bank service fees, okay? So the implication of this is that that amount, if I hadn't gone in to fix this transaction, instead of it posting as a you know into the to the bill.com cash cash account this would have never shown up on the PL. the client would have never received the deduction that they would have been entitled to because financing bank service charges is a PL account and bill.com money out clearing is a balance sheet account so we're going to go ahead and fix that problem and get it out of the bill.com account and now we can resume so that 39 dollars is gone Okay, so we resume this process. Um, 11123, 11123, those balance. Here's the funding event. Here's the bill payment that we've authorized to be paid. Um, this is the funding event for these two bills because bill.com will pull. If you approve multiple payments on a single day, it will go ahead and approve those multiple payments. Here's another one, boom, boom. The, the gazentas equal the gazaltas, we are good here. We certainly see that we have some issues up here. So generally speaking, they will all be at the same time. So this is 411, here's 411. We have multiple invoices that are being paid with that one funding event. So we can go ahead and select those. Um, $77 is also, is also included. Boom, we're, we're back to a $0 difference. So we know that that 19,000 funding event funded all of these payables. We're good, I have no problem there. Again, I see an interesting transaction here. This payment, purchase finance charge, is misposted. Okay, so let's go edit this. This is a credit card um, payment or a credit. Um, it has been purchased finance charge as a credit going to bill.com. We're going to, again, we're going to post this to bank service charges. Has nothing to do with bill.com. And we're going to get that out of that account. I'm going to post that to the PL. It's not going to live forever on a balance sheet account. So we're looking really good. So now I see this payment. There's a bill payment um, for this particular vendor that's been posted, presumably pushed in by bill.com. It has not been funded. So what I'm going to assume is that that is an errant entry. That is not a payment that has gone out through bill.com because if bill.com was charged with making that payment, it would have gone ahead and pulled the funds to make that payment. Um, so that one is one that we need to look at. We can go ahead and clear these others, 839, 80, oh, sorry, 8869, um, 1580 on 4, 418, just to fund these, boom, we're good. We can go ahead and finish this because I think we've gotten a pretty good uh, understanding of the exercise that is needed to be done here. This particular payment. either did not happen or it is a duplicate. So we can go ahead and void this payment. What that does is it tells us that indeed we have not paid this out of bill.com, the, the credit card account. We need to look at our bill.com account to decide how this bill was paid, if it was marked as paid offline, if it was paid by credit card. Um, it was definitely not paid with the bill.com funds because the bill.com funds didn't pull the amount um, to pay it. So we're going to go ahead and void it for now, but I'm going to put this on a list where we need to actually look at this bill in bill.com and see if it's maybe a duplicate bill, um, if it's been voided, or if it's just not been paid. So I hope this helps you um, with your um, task of helping to produce clean and accurate financials. This is obviously not being deleted. We're going to go ahead and delete this. Delete this bill payment. Boom. Okay. Um, because what we want here is we want a bill.com cash account that's going to actually show us 
everything that's been funded and everything that's been paid. And if something hasn't been paid, it's important that we go ahead and mark it as not paid so that we know what our accurate uh, accounts payable report should be looking like. I hope this helps. And if you have any questions, feel free to send me a note and I'll try to address it and um, continue to provide some videos that will help um, with financial reporting. Have a great day.